Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. Here are the Super Patreons, Smazza Bazzer and Brady Burns, as well as our Patreon, who is still beloved, Ballywash. I hope you're all doing very well. And now, uh, we are kind of really getting there. Um, we're not too sure on exactly everything we need to do. Jesus, this place is like a fucking labyrinth. Um, I guess we're going here first. Oops. Ooh. It's really pretty. I like that. Huh. I don't like that lower area. I feel like something bad's gonna happen in that lower area. Oh, is that where they fucking introduce uh, the blind boy? I think that is. Okay. As long as it's not like an annoying Oh, a yellow herb for free. That's fucking insane. Definitely put that there. So we have two heals. That's really good. Capture Lewis Sarah. I have confirmation that Sarah has entered the castle. Why would he return during his uh during his escape? Leaves me to question his motives, but we must seize him this moment and capture him. We have the other two Americans after uh, we will we will get the other two Americans after we apprehend Sarah. It seems like uh, he took some vaccines when he stole our sample. The vaccines we can do without, but we must retrieve the sample for it is our lifeblood. I feel like there is someone else or some other group invo involved in this whole affair. If the sample were to get into the hands of the other entity, the world in which we seek to create will not come. We must apprehend Sarah and as quickly as possible. I like that note. It uh, kind of hints at the um, like of there being like, like a third party, which is good. Okay, so we got a prison key, which is pretty good, I presume. Um, I'm presuming the prison key. Ooh, wait, no, this is a vase. Okay. Um, and then there's ammo there. Don't know if that's the only ammo, but for now. Damn, what a door! It's almost like a door! It's like, thank you, game. I now know everything I need to know about life. Doors are, in fact, doors. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Wait. I have her wait there because it's enough to where she won't get hurt. But yeah. What scary, intimidating monster. to get out of its way. Actually, we'll switch around. We'll uh, switch to this. I do like this type of enemy.
Well, that's the first death of today. What a death it is. Okay. Um. Wait. I still think actually waiting is a good idea. So it seems to be um a better idea. I think this is a good idea. I think if we shoot in the back maybe two to three times, it'll be good. We'll grab the green, uh, the yeah, uh, green, and then we'll mix it with this yellow. So we already have another health upgrade. Um. And these bells are meant to do something. So now we just wait, because we don't want to make too much noise for him. There we go. So I was right. Just, you know, it's easy to kill him. 15,000 pesetas. That's crazy. Let me operate this, which closes off this. That's insane amount of money. Um, I think this is still... For normal use, uh, that is probably the best one. I wonder if he reacts to you saying... Uh, stop and go with uh, Ashley. Matalo. These guys, I feel like almost every enemy that's normal is probably gonna have lost pluggers at this point. Well, not every apparently. Okay. Just a little reload. And there we go. We could obviously use the thing above us, but uh Ooh, ammo. Ooh, TMP ammo, that's even better. Okay, I don't really understood what happened, but things happened. Yay! Okay, we go again. Hopefully it saves from our turning off the thingy. Oh, is it seriously not? Seriously? You, sport, you turn a corner, there's an exploder enemy, and then they're Wait. just like, okay, so you're gonna die here, but also, you're gonna have to restart. Turn my phone off. I've been playing a lot of pocket planes recently. I got bullshit, but okay, again. It's 
so visceral. There's gonna be like 80 fucking restarts here. Wait. It's annoying that you can't just fucking deal with him when he's just there. How? Okay, the entire point of an enemy like this is that you have to walk slowly, you can't run. Why the fuck can he just hear you? Always. That's not how the enemy types meant to work. I know I'm dead. That's a cool kill screen. I wonder why they climbed it off. Welcome to hell. Why is it every single point of this goddamn fucking place is just constant annoyance? It's it actually kind of insane. We're gonna have to just go and save uh, after we kill those enemies because I don't want to have to do that again and that's what I should have done the first time anyway. Okay so we'll combine this with this. Whew. We'll go and operate this. So do you think those so the guys had to be behind there? Do you think they're just? I think the problem Follow. mentally with these enemies is that the own their hive mind, basically. Um, but it's like, do, do they just not do anything? Like when they're alone, is it just like do they have like some like? Because the Ganados. Like when you see the Ganados the first time, they they're doing shit that they probably would have done when they were alive. So it like makes you question, like, Wait. do they do things normally? Yeah, okay, so apparently that's how you meant to deal with these attacks. Oh. And then we'll jump out. And we'll... Oh. Well. Oh, thank God they actually aim. There we go. All of that done. Okay. Uh, is there any treasure around this area? There is not. Okay. Well, before we proceed, we are going to definitely go and save. Follow me. Now that we've done like everything we need to do. One thing that's interesting is uh, when you think about it, the follow me button would have would have been the Z button for the GameCube. Which is kind of cool. I think the first time I did this, I did it on an emulator. But then, since then, I've bought like every single Resident Evil game on PS4. Uh, and the ones that you can't get on PS4, I've gotten them on PS2. 
uh, which I'm emulating the PS2, but I that's because I bought a PS2 from Japan and it didn't work. Because the voltage is different. Ah, <sighs> you're a piece of work, aren't you? Thank you again. This man has no pitching arm at all. Wait. I don't wanna I hate it. I hate it when it's just like the kind of tower defense you Like the point of the game is not to just stand and shoot, it's to Oh we fully out. That's not good. Okay, I don't like how they're going for me now. Um, I'll actually go and use the full one, I think. Fucking knew he had to have one. The fucking leader not having a last Plagas would be a fucking weird move. 4,500 pesetas. I don't like this room. This room is just trouble. Follow me. I don't like how I can constantly hear enemies. It reminds me of, uh, oh, they're there. It reminds me of the Harry Potter, oh my god, there's two of them. I freaking hate this pincering. Oh, They need to stop doing this, Jesus. I understand the game needs to get harder at some point, but not like this. This is annoying hard, this isn't fun hard. Um, let's see the map. Um, okay. Okay, so, it seems like they all go the same way. Oh, but one of them had an arsenal still. He didn't dissolve into anything. Cool. Um, and there's one more dark ball. Oh, too many more ammo. There you go, I'm gonna turn into a lot- no, okay. Huh, it's weird that one of those vials, I thought it would like pierce through it, but I guess if you had a, the Punisher, you could. Why do I feel like I don't trust this carpet? Okay. Let's have a look-see on everything. Okay. Well, for now, we'll do this. Um. Wait. 
a very simple but fair enough puzzle. Okay. Follow me. You're getting a shotgun. That's it. You just, you're just getting a shotgun. Come on in. Come on in. Love this game design. Not being able to see around corners is a really good thing. Honestly, I'm really happy that it exists. Um. Okay. More TMP. More of that. I saw that there was another enemy up there, so we'll switch to this. I do like how the enemy kind of stays the same, though. <laughs> Fucking... Ugh! Can I have a moment where it isn't just... getting... anal snapped? I don't want to say a badder word. Can they stop with the shields? I'm like 400% done with the shields. Right now. I can hear the damn monster. There he is. Kind of deserved after that bullshit, honestly. Um, will we equip this? Grab this. I guess it's kind of weird, but uh, the thing that we have the most ammo for is the shotgun gun. Oh no, we don't. I thought we had more in reserve or something. Pardon me. Okay, velvet blue. I really hope we get some sort of store for the merchant soon. I guess Ashley. I already know the bullshit they're going to pull. There's no way that it's not going to just be more enemies. Look, there's a crank over there. Please. I, there's not even just a please don't be this annoying thing I think it's going to be. It's just like, I know it's going to be. It's going to be I go to one crank, she goes to the other crank, and I constantly have to shoot enemies. 
to make sure that she can do her crank. It's that's just gonna be the gameplay. I know. And it's like I hate it. Like I hate that I know that that's gonna be the gameplay loop. But look how much freaking money we have, Jesus. I think that I think if this level or if this part of the game is where you get a lot of money, I'll be happy with that. But at the same like who wouldn't be happy with that? But like um It'd be kind of annoying if it was kind of like a thing where it's like oh you get so much money but like you can't really like backtrack because like you know it's so much time you'd have to waste doing it. Yep, it's a hundred percent what I thought it was. If enemies don't spawn what right next, enemy? good old game developers making sure to get as many panty shots as they can. Um. If enemies don't go for me, I mean, I guess it's a fine idea. I guess if there's not too many, it's, I just don't want to have to like fully massively multitask an entire like operation by myself where it's super fucking stressful and unfun. No one wants to do that. No one wants to do escort quests. Okay. Oh fuck, now I'm gonna have to really go and make sure that I get rid of these. Um, one good here. Okay, thank god this wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be far worse than what this actually is. It might be because I have like this better... This like far better sniper. But like... I'm just so happy that it isn't like some really obnoxious of audio. Okay. Leon! Just wait, I'm gonna reload all my weapons while I know we're safe. Um, man, we do not have much pistol ammo left. Um, and then the shotgun. Okay, cool. Man, it feels good to have like every single weapon having ammo and stuff. Let's catch you. Kia. Yeah. She does the cutie thing after she does the annoying thing. What type of castle would require you to fucking do this anytime you wanted to get to this point? I know it's gameplay, but it's still dumb. No, oh, I don't really like that. Okay, so there's nothing else there. Um. Okay. So there's a submission to this point. Okay. I'll happily take the handgun ammo. And the herb. 
Ah, oh, it's just a regular hub. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, we can just open this. Awesome. Oh, it is just the man, the myth. It would be cool if we could talk to Ashley here. Okay. You can get cool little knickknacks. Welcome. Are you seriously? Is that it? It, it isn't an actual being able to play the game. God damn. God damn. I was legitimately happy because I was like, oh man, we can actually go and uh, do this shit now. But no, it's just a stupid fucking. Oh, you're just here. Welcome. Well, that feels weird. Got some rare things on. What are you selling? Well, I have some rare things as well. I have a uh, sell and sell. Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. What are you Tune buying? up. Is I think we all? have to at this point <laughs> tune up Thank this you. firepower a bit. Um. We'll go look at the shotgun. Yeah, so. Is that all? <laughs> is that all? <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so now the power, reload speed is pretty good. Yeah, okay. Okay. Come back at any time. Okay. Um, so that was that. Then there's him there. There's that there. Um, and whatever the fuck this is. A hand grenade in a chest. It better be the holy hand grenade, I guess. Um, is there anything else in this? Aha, so there's another treasure up here. Huh. Oh, there's a second floor. Oh, well, how, what do we have here? We got a spinel. Does that count as the treasure? No, thank God. It would be very irritating if, like, 1,000 costing items. Okay, I see. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Fair enough. So, it's like a... mystery kind of thing where it's like, how do you get up there? Um, let's see. Okay, so the way this is going to work from my presumptions... So, we go up, and then we go to the right, apparently. It makes more sense it would go down and then around to there. Hmm. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you all have a absolutely wonderful day. Uh, and yeah, I hope, uh, I hope you look forward to the next episode where hopefully... I think we might be able to get through more of this level. I don't know if this is the entirety of this level or if this is just like, you know, you get to one half of it, like you finish this area maybe a little bit more above or something. Because um, this is the biggest level we've seen in the game so far. But yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.